Hello there, Aries. What's going on? Aries, welcome to your general messages for uh, the 1st through 15th of April of 2022. I know we're already in April of 2022. <laughs> so Aries, this message is for you, sun, moon, rising. Um, you guys, make sure that you're using your own intuition and judgment and when you're watching and listening, okay? Because these messages are general and they won't resonate to everyone. If the messages do resonate, then go ahead and hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And also let me know in the comment box below how everything is working out. Aries, I want to thank you guys so much for your time and your support, your positivity, your love, your light. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. As always, I give that energy right back to you because you deserve it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what your overall message is here for the first half of the month, Aries. Let's take a look and see what the overall energies are for you. Okay. All right. So we have card number eight come together. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the um, message is for that card. <clears throat> okay. So love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on the path to discover the nature of this emotion in all of its forms of expression. Romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and take between you and a significant other, a relative, a friend, an animal or spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished like a magnet. You're attracting love into your life. This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. This is a beautiful message here, Aries, because usually Aries, you know, you, you are the, uh, you know, you are the personification of the number one, right? And so Aries in this, this is saying that you are to come together with another one. So this is a bond being made, whether it's in a relationship or, or you know, platonic or just, you know, someone in your family that you're getting to know on a, on a deeper level, something to that, to, to that nature. But, uh, but that's a beautiful energy here during this time, Aries. So we'll go ahead and leave that there. So overall, definitely, you will be coming together with someone, Aries. I love it. All right. So let's go ahead and pull your tarot. Messages for Aries. All right, let's get one more shuffle. Okay, Aries. So let's take a look at your challenge, okay? So we have the seven of swords here coming up in your challenge position. If you can see that. So we've got the seven of swords coming up here in your challenge position. So I definitely feel like there may be an issue of probably someone wanting to like you know, maybe get over on you or get away with something, okay? Um, you could be trying to maybe finesse a situation, uh, and it may, it may not necessarily be with the intent of, like, you know, lying, cheating, stealing. However, you know, there is a situation that you need to proceed with carefully. And so I do just feel like that energy of just you being really, really careful, maybe as to make sure that you don't, you know, get effed over yourself. You know what I mean? Okay. So that is something that you may be having to overcome here during this time. All right. There may be a challenge, something that you have to put a lot of finesse in, a lot of care has, is, is very intricate. Okay. It could have something to do with this coming together energy. Maybe if you're trying to like, you know, pull certain strings, manipulate certain strings to get 
people in the same room with one another or to even get yourself in the same room with another individual Aries. That could be what you're maybe doing as well. And so let's go ahead and pull uh, some more energies for you guys. All right. Okay, so we've got the hangman. Okay, so we've got the hangman, the five of wands, and then the seven of wands. Oh, wow. Okay, so Aries... Uh, I feel like there's a particular stance here that you've had to take here. Okay. I feel like with this hangman energy, you definitely trying to like, uh, there's, uh, there's maybe you're biding your time. There's a particular strategy here, a strategy here that you are contemplating. Okay. This five of five of wands and the seven of wands is, is, is making me feel like Aries, you're maybe having to like defend, uh, some, some territories. Okay. So you may be, um, you may be having to, uh, you know, fight for things to go the way that you need it to go. Um, but I think that the best, I think that you're, no, you're noticing that the best way to do that is not by actually, you know, physically fighting or verbally fighting or, you know, backbiting or whatever, or doing the things that, you know, you usually would do. Um, it's more strategic. It's more mental. Okay. You're find, trying to figure out a way to be a system in a different mental way. Okay. And so that could definitely explain the seven of swords there for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some more energies. So we have the Eight of Wands now. Okay. And the Moon. Eight of Wands, the Moon. And then the Six of Cups. Okay, so Aries, I definitely feel like you're about to find out some. I feel like you're about to find out something through some sort of quick communication, fast communication, maybe even argument. Like I said, we got this five and the seven of wands energies. So this eight, now this eight of wands energies feels like, okay, this is like all the stuff that's said in an argument that's going to, you know, be like, you know, real quick and cutting. And in that energy, you may find out something about someone uh, that you didn't necessarily know someone about something about someone from your past. Um, and it could be, it could be uh, directly tied to your past as well, which is way, maybe why you're fighting for them so hard. Okay. Maybe why you're defending this person because you're kind of maybe defending maybe your actions or your involvement as well, Aries. But there is going to be some new information that comes out and that you don't necessarily know. Okay. And I think that what it happens is, is that it may, it really does affect you. Uh, it really does sting. It really does burn. And this is like, how dare you bring that up? Like, you know, the fact that they even brought that up was their strategic seven of swords move to, um, you know, try to get a reaction out of you, Aries. And so I feel like they're doing that. Okay. So maybe someone doesn't want to see you come together with someone else. Let's go ahead and pull some more energy. So we've got the nine of uh, pentacles. Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Page of Cups. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so Aries, I feel like somebody, I feel like uh, this, I feel like, okay, the person that you're coming together with, let me just say this, the person that you're coming together with, I feel as though... They rejected someone else. Okay. They left this other person high and dry. I feel like this other person, uh, you know, poured their heart out to them, Aries. Okay. And they said, nah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to invest in you. I'm not going to move forward with you. I'm not going to proceed with you because it doesn't have to be romantic. Right. But it could be anything. You know, this person definitely offered interest and this other person, I feel like they rejected and they decided, no, I'm going to take my pinnacle and invest it somewhere else. Or I'm going to keep waiting until I find what else, whatever it is that I'm looking for. And it definitely feels that that could be lined up with someone here in the past with the six of cups there. Okay, Aries. So, yeah, it looks for sure like Aries, somebody does not want you to come together with someone. Someone does not want you to meet up with someone. Someone is trying to delay the process of you coming together with someone. Now, 
with that said, it could be because they don't want a particular secret to come out or they don't want some sort of information to come out. They don't want you to connect the dots about maybe something that they said. Okay. So. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go ahead and pull um, some clarifying energies here. Just, we're just going to get three clarifying cards um, as our outcome cards. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles. And then the Emperor. Oh, there you are, Aries. Look at you showing up. <laughs> I love this. So, Aries, someone is saying that they're, they're holding out for you. They rejected another person because they're holding out for you. They're holding out. They're, uh, they're working on themselves. They're putting themselves in a higher position to be able to receive you. Okay. And what they do have to offer here with this King of Pentacles, it is something stable and it is something. You know what they're working on it is something stable it is something lucrative um that it's like a bonus that comes with them that they're not offering that to you aries but they're offering them to you okay they're offering themselves okay and then whatever success whatever um you know uh platform or status that you receive is actually just a byproduct of dealing with them but they also, um, it, this also, they, they recognize the boss in you, Aries, and, um, and they're a boss themselves, okay? And so they really want to align themselves with you. And there's someone that is just not wanting that to come together because they know as soon as you align yourselves that you guys are going to be like a powerhouse. And that's what they don't want to see happen. So let's go ahead and just pull a little bit of it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance right now. I do have... Uh, a bit of a neighbor uh, noise thing going on right now. But it's the weekend. So we're just going to go ahead and just put out all that love and light <laughs> and hope that it does not interrupt what we got going on here. All right, so let's go ahead and just pull three cards for advice for Aries. Okay, follow through. Okay. Success and transformation. Wow, those are really beautiful colors. And then choose who you are, choose who you are becoming. So Aries, beautiful, beautiful messages there for spirit. Spirit definitely wants you to use your voice. I feel Okay, because we have all of this like bluish, greenish chakra energy. So um, spirit is definitely wanting you to like use your voice and speak from your heart. Okay, follow through with what the things you said that you want to do. Okay, because there is success in that. All right. Um, you can only be the person to choose your path. All right. Other people may have plans for you, but that's their plans for you. You still do what you need to do. And I think that's what you're definitely doing there with the seven of wands. So Aries, beautiful, beautiful message for you guys. Let me know how this is working out in the comment box below. You guys have a great rest of your time. Talk to you later.